Okay, so today I'm getting back to the render graph after a few side uh, distractions. So today I need to, I have a basic set of things, but they're all in the Bring Up application. And it's all still quite rough, like a first pass kind of thing, like a first draft. So today what I need to do is, or I intend to do, is try to, to refine it and then start putting it into other libraries, getting it out of the Bring Up application where it makes the most sense. So, okay, to begin with, the render graph itself um, and its associated items. Let's see. Now, if I recall correctly, I can import image job or actually let's do this present image job there we go when I'm interacting with the render graph directly I'm just directly adding uh, resource cleanup calls adding jobs and then adding consume re and calling consume resource which itself does adds a relationship okay Okay, so <clears throat> what I prefer to do is not necessarily pass the render graph directly in so that it can, uh, so that these jobs, job creation functions uh, can interact with the items inside of it. That's a little risky. What I should do is Let's assume this would be all private or unreachable otherwise. I would then want to have some kind of, uh, let's say. So this will be part of the graphics. Render graph, add job. We'll have this, and it's always going to be one job at a time. So let's say we're adding what would, what would next be? Any resource cleanup calls? No. Next would be okay. Would I even add? Okay, there's no reason for me to actually add. Um, I don't need to add like resource data to this, but what I do need is like items that be that are being consumed. So I need like a uint count. Um, like a count and then next I need a number of so what I'm adding is render graph resource Okay, resource count. P resource. And then NMB const without modifying it. Then we need Because I need that, and then I need to return them. I need the like. I need to consume these in resource and out resource. Free 
resource in, resource out. So this will take in like the, the items and then we'll have an array of the same size for out that the user is handling. Um, what else? And then I need a, any like <clears throat> hmm. I'm not sure about adding Oh, we need CPU jobs. Where do I have the job for that? XR swap chain, right? Somewhere over. Ah, here's the function. Um, I'm sorry, what's going on here? What am, what? <laughs> what's going on here? What did I do? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, this is adding jobs. I don't. What? Okay, this is for executing the jobs. Great. This is. Uh, okay, executing the render graph, it decides to process everything, great, and then part of the relationships, great, then it goes to the execution part, where it sends all the GPU jobs out, with semaphores and stuff, and then, what, this? Then this gets executed. Add CPU function. Then this job is added to the CPU functions. Okay. Okay. So I need a separate thing, which is what? Oh, I need that, the render graph. P render graph. Uh, add CPU job. Man, like I. Okay, now it makes sense again, a little bit, as to why I did CPU drop the way I did. I don't like it. Even 32T. So these two should effectively, oh yeah, and I need to add
HVP that. Great. Okay, that should effectively replace having to have any direct access to any of this. These two. So. <clears throat> What I can do for the moment is let's say let's move this out or rather <sighs> right let's just do it here shall we so okay first of all before I actually do any of that let's make sure it runs right now. Do I have XR available in the system? No. Let me set that up real quick. Okay. Yeah, let's make. Let's add it back on to be enabled. Okay. That's still going on. That's, I don't know what's going on with that. I mean, the, the picture is fine in the headset. It's just this VR view is just bad. Where's the application? If anywhere. Did it just not? Oh, it didn't even start. Oh, I got the wrong application. Where's, oh, there it is. Looks like it didn't even start on NVR. No, it didn't. Okay, great. Great. Something bad happened again. What the hell? All right, whatever. It steams just steam VR just keeps crack killing itself. I'll leave it here then for the moment and work on other stuff. Boo. Right, <clears throat> this one. What have we got here? So I've got two resources I uh, use. What am I doing with this? Consumed resources equals that. That's great and all. I'm using a source and a destination image. That's correct, yeah. That's read only, that's not. Ooh, yeah. I'm not sure resources in if I also count like if it's been read only or not I'm not sure if I should just do the two parallel or what but let's have a look here So we'll have, let's say, so what I want to do instead is this, oh, graphics render graph add job. The idea will be like, in the graph, we'll have the job, we'll have two resources. We have an array of the two ingoing resources. Which is source image. 
destination image. That and we'll have a standard array. Like that. So we have two, we have in dot data. VS yeah, sources. In read only, we have none of those, no pointer, and that. Okay, now I actually need to get this resource to actually, uh, this function to actually exist. Then I'll be able to do this equals Okay. This is all still in, yeah. render graph uh, jobs dot place back the job now is this it's a pointer to the job not an actual but I do go around deleting all the job pointers afterwards As they are known ahead of time. Hmm. I don't really need a pointer. I could just pass this stuff directly in. Yeah. Um, okay, for so resources count. We're going to do the consume resource, which takes in star p render graph. Consumer job, which is the P job. All right, that's why there needs to be a pointer like that. Mm -hmm. But I can internalize that. Yeah. does that. Then I need to deal with the resource delete calls which are what? If 
for the moment it's this. Nothing goes wrong, generally, supposedly, right now. That's a bad assumption to make. But I'll make it. Let's make sure... So I have disabled... Are, since that just doesn't seem to want to work right now. Okay. So then we just kind of go ahead and start doing this everywhere. So that was a blit job. Let's do the export image job next. Actually, let's do it like this and then I can add no discard later find all the areas. I got one resource. source coming out. I don't even return it, do I? No. Export image shop. Oh, I exported it out, that's why, yeah. Make sure this works. Seemingly good. I got okay, I do have validation and debug logging on, so that's as good as it's gonna get. Image, nope, import image, here we go. There's no relationship with this thing to start with, so that's fine. Kind of take this, put this here like that. Let's 
This is Impulse Image, which is something we would be using. So let's see how this works. Mm. Next. Down here we have just one job and one resource. Okay, so Source swap chain resource. Get that. We have no deletes. Okay, render graph, render scene. P job and a couple of resources. You may want to reorder these things just a little bit. Sources out uh, zero. One. 
Got a few more. Let's see how this works. If it works at all. Uh-oh. 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 Dang it. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe it's because I had an extra one. Please, tell me that was it. Yeah, okay. I don't like the fact I'm splitting up uh, too much. I'm sure I'm going to change that up in the future as well. here close to the end here and that just leaves this one and then I'll be able to get I'll, I'll be able to move consumer resource out of here just make it private That'll be next I got a render target output. Got the job. Got one resource. It is the render target. It's not read only. I'll just leave the XR items which are not working for the moment for some reason. No, 
didn't. There it is. Actually, it does resize, right? That's something that keeps breaking and I keep missing. Is if I keep resizing uh, it, does it actually? Yes, it does. Well, that's good. So it's just the XR swap chain left with its fun little so right now hmm Not sure on this part yet. Put that aside. Mm, here we go. Into graph stuff. Resource. What's going on here? It's just importing it. Okay. So nothing to consume, just. So I was to put this to private. Construct. No problems, right? No, there are problems. Lots of little problems. Okay. Render, whoops, render graph. Okay, why is this not taking you there? Somehow it's starting to work again. Uh, add job. Jobs. Okay. Uh, I need to do like friend. This. I'm this guy's friend. anyways so we've got mm hmm okay is there anything outside of render graph that I care about no so
at this point, what will I do? Will I just kind of like for declare this here? <clears throat> then I actually have all of this stuff back here. Okay, we've got a few application. Yeah, okay. And application. I need to like, let's say create render graph. Which just creates one. This needs to be a star star. Make sure it's the right case. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I'm not really, I'm not really destroying that. Whoops. Uh, once I execute the render graph jobs,
Okay. Uh, I'm not. Am I building with like address sanitizer on? Probably, probably not. So let's uh, get that going. BRB. Okay. So let's. Uh, Let me check, uh, do I have any, like, okay, I need to go back one and go build bin, no, I don't even need bin, it's just full engine right there, from this directory, that's great, anything, not quite yet, let's exit, let's see what we get, we have... Allocator, deallocator mismatch, and graphics destroy session. P extensions. Okay, let me have a look at what I got. P extensions. When I added them, What? Did I not, when I do this, create session, da 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 da. Okay, when I go into here, it is a new what? Oh, it is a new uh, double thing. So here should be this. Sorry, not this. This. Actually, don't. Just build it. Then I'll rerun it. Then I'll leave it. And then we'll probably have the same thing on the runtime side, yeah. So this is all good. I just want to want to undo this all. Session. Hmm. Runtime. Okay, now we just have five and a half kilobytes of leaked stuff. Let's let it run for a little bit. Do some shaky cam. I'll open a view, or actually close a view, open a view, open a view. Open window information. Whoop, get out of here, move. Do, do, do. And then we exit. And it's 48 and a half kilobytes. Okay, there's a leak somewhere. Let's have a look in this. Let's see if there are any big ones. Okay, there's a big one here. And it's to do with libxcb. Oh. Um, Not entirely sure if there's anything I can do about that. Or is it something I do because I've been called by LibXCB? Hold on. No, oh, no, I can't I can't do that. Can't do debug mode. Right. Well, unless until unless I decide to do a uh, I don't know how to debug that. 
So I'm not even going to try to at the moment. I'll just get these two things in. Session and runtime. Got that. Clear that up. Whatever. So back to here. Render graph. That's now for declaration. That is still here. This is doesn't have to be here. This can be a, a hidden background thing. Like with this. Graph resource. This is public. This is also public for the moment. So is this. Right. This is fine. Okay. Okay. Let's see if I can actually. So we have that. Okay, before I do this though, let's do that. Okay, uh, missing one thing I'm missing is let's say when I have this right I should have some kind of function that converts between the this
So this is between infographics. Render graph. And render graph for the moment. Where is that? There it is. Let's put in a blank namespace in here. Okay, we got that, and we got to go back to application where this is. Well, I'm gonna say, hey, you know, this is uh, that. Then I gotta change this back again. To just this. So this is just continuation of that, so I'll not put this in the recording. It's going to be boring. Actually, no, it's super uh, quick. Just got to replace these. So that becomes that. We've got a UI pass. We've done that. Do we do it here? Because I want to use it in one location now like that. It's very quick. Did that one.
missing one here. I modified this one already. Okay. Add all these together. All right, is there anything else? I really want to kind of render graph job. Hmm. hmm. I'm not entirely sure because how do I want to go about this? Hmm. I want to try to move this out. But it's still holding on to a couple of Vulcan resource types. Just these two. I'm trying to think of, is there like another way that I can pass this data into the per, um, per job executions? Since I need to have the synchronization primitives along for the ride. Or indeed, if I want to... generic make them more generic maybe if I have handles for these since they're the only things that aren't would that work I think so or maybe I just not put this in like faux graphics just put in faux graphics VK and just kind of let it sit there instead for the moment and maybe like push it to a lower level later hmm that might actually be best for the moment I get it out of here at least I think so. I think that's what I'm going to do. So all these locations I'll change from this to VK render graph for the moment like that. And I'll just kind of like put VK stuff onto all this. So that it's obvious that it's that level. So let's do it. Let's do it. out I don't even use this function here anymore I'll need to add oh and then I need it on this oh I also need to yeah, export right
just graphics export okay ah, yeah that makes sense actually so this goes away I need to export that, 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 and that. Then I need in the source side. So it's not that, it's include. Render graph like that. source over well all of this stuff anyways like that but not that this is render graph session UK error Q is internal is there anything else I need on this side do I need Vulcan yes I need the handle yes functional yeah Memory, string, I don't think I need memory, no. String? Yes. System error, yes. Vector, e no. The destructor, session, yes. Okay. So we've got that here, we want to remove it from here unless I have it down here. So that render graph goes away. And I changed up, yeah. So we've got that. Let's see if the image has got this. This will be here. This is gone. Okay, but I have to add this to a couple locations. <laughs> Not quite the whole thing though. I already did this one.
Okay, this is gone. Undefined reference, because I moved the uh, code without actually renaming them, correct? Sorry, not render target. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <clears throat> okay. Right, all the image layouts and stuff are still manually done. is all still very Vulcan specific stuff. So where do I have UI stuff hiding right now actually? It's uh what? I'm GUI, right? Is it all just still very Vulcan specific? Yeah. Yeah it is. Okay. And XR would have to be in like a, yeah. All right. Let's get what I have here already there. Great. Now I'm going to have to start doing, okay, I should start moving these out almost exclusively to graphics VK, I presume, under like some kind of uh, render graph jobs. Like this. And I'll do that after I grab a bit more of a drink. BRB. All right. Let's, uh, let's just close up a bunch of stuff, doo -doo -doo, and we'll just start moving stuff over now. So to start with, I need this to be shifted over to, does that have to be public or private? Hmm. 
Now I can put this on the private side. So we'll do like a under graph. I'll just kind of start putting some stuff in there. So we've got image goes up to the source down there. That's great. Or actually, for the moment, we'll put it here, where there, so I can actually refer to it. We'll move, let's say, UI pass. We'll leave it there for the moment. Split image is a great one to move over. Move that. Move that, okay. Do that will include that as a subdirectory. I'm not entirely. Uh, satisfied with the naming convention I got going on here, but it will have to do for the moment. Now we're going to change this up to like graphics. VK, blit image, HPP. This is also include hmm. VK render graph. Jobs. That. Okay, like that. Whoop. Like that. Great. I need the access flags. So this again, this will be in the public side for the moment, but it will be shifted over to the private side. No log here. Actually, there is a log, isn't there? It's just CK, I think. Faux graphics, v, VK graphics. Okay. Okay, let's see what I can do with that. That's going to require some modification. Oh, uh, blip image. Blip. Render job. Mm -hmm. Add blit ren image. Resolve. Resolve sounds like something that could be pretty good to move around as well at the moment. So with that, we've got this going to up here. Mm -hmm. 
string view? Yeah. Why do I have a string view? Yes, I have a string view because I'm passing names through. Hmm. that okay we can remove bit image access flags resolve image from here that same thing here image resolve image okay oh I need to export them as well don't I so we got that <clears throat> we'll have this We'll have this. that for the moment. Enter a job. Okay. Looking back up the Sorry, what's going on? job great and we've got these things so we're not getting we don't have the ad just it's just that job okay hmm 
Okay, still rolling okay-ish. So I'm going to add these changes. So export, import, image, and pre-image presentation. Hmm. So I'll just move them up wholesale up to about here, and then we'll get the headers moved further. One, two, and three. CPP, import image is after this one. Hmm, it's not formatting on save. Do I not have CMake format? I should have it. Okay, we'll save that up. Hopefully that'll start working. There we go. Okay. Um, One, two, and three. Do the same thing on the application side. Okay, great. Now rename the functions to become let's say for graphics BK export image render job. That replaced all three of them. That and finally present import. Hmm. Import swap chain. Image render job. That's actually gonna nope, it's not quite gonna work because I removed the sources from down here, which means export these three are gone. I'm not exporting them yet.
run it, make sure it's still good. Fantastic, okay. All right. What to do with the last ones? UI, okay. Render scene requires simulation state, so that's not really something I can get out of here right now. UI pass is using the I'm GUI stuff, which I can't get out of here, and XR. XR, I can maybe, maybe, maybe move out to something to do with this. This is already doing some Vulcans. Okay, XR itself is just doing runtime. That's it. That It just has a handle for, for the runtime. Okay. What's going on here? We have session. With a whole bunch of exposed items. Hmm. So this has already got a bunch of Vulcan stuff. I'm not sure if I can actually want to keep it here or... Okay, is there any like actual Vulcan specific stuff beyond... Like in here? The session doesn't look like it has any. Hmm. So maybe a good idea hmm. Maybe, maybe. I want to move XR swap chain into here somewhere. So for the moment, I will just kind of put it in here. Render graph, open XR runtime. Okay, sorry. This is in a different, what? Fo XR, XR open XR. Okay, so it would be under here somewhere. something like this not really a great place to keep it but it'll work XR swap chain it's gonna need renaming renaming for sure for XR export okay great put it here swap chain okay is there a runtime thing in here no but it's in the same directory instead so for this I need it to include that which it, it already does hmm. 
we can uh, remove it from here. That just leaves these two, which are pretty intricately linked into here. At the moment. Okay, what's wrong with this guy? Oh, graphics VK render craft because I do not have a direct link to Faux graphics VK from here, do I? No, I do not. Hmm. Nor do I really want one. Okay, so XR swap chain is going right back where it was. The rest of it, okay, that can stay. The rest of this is still good. Close to being good. this job why do I have this hmm? actually why do I have this this I'm looking for this why am I pulling this in I'm not sure P swap chain I'm using this for something render graph XR swap chain this is a different swap chain entirely Get out of here. Okay, I guess what an hour and a half, hour forty-five. So that's a bit. Of, that's enough today. I kind of got things cleaned up, a little bit refined, a little bit of reworking of the jobs. Especially like rendered graph is a lot more. Is a much less involved surface for dealing, uh, interacting with it. The jobs are moved out, even though I gotta, I gotta figure out a better naming scheme nomenclature for this and I gotta move XR out but I'm not sure how I'm going to put it in here yet but that'll be all for next time so for, for now cheers <laughs>